Our goal for this lesson is to learn the structure and function of the three major types of blood vessels in the body. They are part of the circulatory system. They are arteries, veins, and capillaries. So, I forgot the other out. So let's start with arteries. Arteries um, are v the largest blood vessel. They have a thick outer layer made of connective tissue. Um, they're also made of smooth muscle and endothelial tissue. This thickness supports its purpose, which is to deliver highly pressurized oxygen-rich blood from the heart to faraway parts of the body. It needs to be thicker to support that kind of demand. So next let's take a look at the vein, the vein on the right side of the screen. So this, um, this structure has three layers of tissue, but the endothelial walls are thinner. Um, so why is it thinner? Because the pressure from the heart has lessened a great deal. Um, I'll put lower blood pressure. And um, by the time blood has reached the veins, it it has lost this pressure and therefore actually has instead these valves inside to help catch blood um, as it may, it may be fighting gravity so it can help continue moving back to the heart. Something else that helps in addition to these valves to help blood travel back to the heart is um, nearby skeletal muscles and skeletal muscles um, help the blood keep moving by contracting. So, um, at last but not least, we have the smallest, um, the smallest structures, the smallest blood vessel structures called capillaries. Um, so, capillaries are important because they connect arteries with veins. Um, how do they do this? Well, these tiny vessels web together and they meet where arteries and veins meet to exchange oxygen, nutrients, and wastes uh, for all body cells, either to come in or out. And these vessels are so small that red blood cells actually can move single file through them. And their walls are only just one cell thick. This makes it much easier to exchange materials in, let's say, your eyes, your kidneys, your bones, and skin, for example. So at any given moment, about 30% of your blood in circulation will be in your arteries, 5% will be in your capillaries, and you got it, 65% if you do the math in the veins. Now, hopefully you can teach somebody else about your blood vessels.